Hi there and welcome to this new video course here on the channel. In this video course you will be learning how to build a Laravel application from scratch. We're going to learn how to make controllers, models, migrations, uh, commands and stuff like that. Um, and we're actually going to build s some kind of a contact book where you can keep track of the people that you interact with, the companies that they work for, um, have birthday reminders, uh, attach tasks to them, and a lot of cool stuff that is related to that. Um, this will be um, a few videos. I'd like to keep it short, um, and you will learn a lot of new things, I hope. Uh, and if you already have done a few things in Laravel, you might yeah pick up a thing or two along the way as well so without further ado let's get started with our first video where we're going to create a new larva project uh, so let's dive into it okay so first up let's install laravel into our system here if you head over to the documentation tab on the laravel website uh, you can see the installation in here meet laravel why laravel and so on and then here to create your first project what I recommend you to do is actually install it globally on your computer. Let me open this a bit bigger here, like this. So Composer Global Require Laravel Installer. This will install a Laravel installer into your system and you can actually call Laravel new and then the name of your new application right after that. Instead of creating a new project with Composer every time, if you want to do that, that's fine also but I suggest to have the installer locally installed on your global machine. Of course, I already did that, so I'm going to navigate to Documents um, and CWB, and you might have noticed I'm using Warp here. Warp is in, yeah, in terminal um, with AI integration and a lot of cool stuff, but more about that later. All right, so Laravel, new, and let's call it uh, Contact App, right? And this is going to install a new Laravel project for us. In the meanwhile, I already created a GitHub repository here and we will add that to the project as well. Um, so you can follow along in this course. Uh, I will be putting every episode into a separate branch. All right, so it installed already, great. Um, next up, I'm going to add Laravel Breeze uh, and Laravel Breeze is actually one of the starter kits. So if you go over here, starter kits, uh, and we have Laravel Breeze, and we can choose to do that with Blade, React, or Next.js via an API, or React and Vue, of course. But we also have Jetstream, but let's go with Laravel Breeze uh, for start, uh, to start off here. So actually, Composer require Laravel Breeze dash dash dev, and I'm going to run that as well. There we go. This will install Laravel Breeze for us. Uh, and afterwards, we need to also run a migration. So I'm going to quickly scroll down a bit. So PHP Artisan Breeze install. And this is actually, what did I do here? Whoops, I made a mistake. I installed, okay, I installed it in my complete directory so yeah that that can happen so rm min rf uh, dash rf for the vendor because i don't want a vendor in here there we go and then rf composer lock and rm uh, composer json whoops if you ever encounter that uh, sorry that can happen, uh, no worries. Uh, so first of all, we need to CD into the project. So contact app, there we go. And in here, we need to install Laravel Breeze. So composure required Laravel Breeze, dash as dev. And after that, we need to call PHP artisan Breeze install. And this will ask us which kind of stack we want. And I always tend to go for Blade here, but you can also use uh, React or Vue um, or an API, but I like to use uh, Blade here. All right, dark mode, in this case, no. Uh, and then pest for testing, yes, um, we won't use it in the first videos, but maybe I will add a video later on about how to test your application. All right, that's installing here. Next up, we need to run a migration. And a migration is actually creating tables or uh, adjusting tables in your database. 
I have already created a database for us called contact book. So in the application, I'm just going to wait a few seconds here until this is complete. There we go. Um, and as you can see here, I must run um, PHP artisan migrate and then npm install and uh, after that npm run dev. But I first need to add um, uh, my database to the project. So code this folder here. This will open uh, Visual Studio Code here. And let's actually add that to another window like that. Make it a bit bigger so you can see clearly what I'm doing. And the .env file, this is actually the environment file of our application. And here you have also the, all the folders and files that Laravel created for us while we installed our new project. But in here, uh, I'm going to add uh, contact app and like that. This will be the URL that it's, it's uh, going to be served at and we're going to use Laravel Valet for that. Uh, that's also installed in my system, but I have a separate video how to install Laravel Valet on your machine. Uh, I will link it somewhere in the video. All right, for the database, it's on the local host, that's correct, but I named it contact book, if I'm correct. Let me check. Contact book, yes, that's it. And it's a local installation and my username and password are the same, root root, so what, no questions asked here. This should be a very secure password, uh, but it's only local here on my machine, so I don't mind actually at this point. All right, let's save that and in here run PHP artisan migrate. And this will actually create a few tables for us. If I go over to PHP my admin, and I go to the database contact book. There we go. All right, so that created uh, a few tables for us, uh, including users and migrations. And in migrations, uh, you can see actually all the migrations that um, are executed throughout the entirety of the project. All right, so that's it. Great. Now, we should be able to register, right? So let's go over to contact um, app dot test and this will serve uh, via um, Laravel Valet um, and if I hit register and I will quickly fill this in with uh, bechtabvulpo.b that's actually the company that I work for and uh, a password there we go register all right now we're directly logged in um, and we can see the dashboard. And this is actually the cool thing about Breeze. We also have a profile page and we can reset our password and delete our account. That's something that comes in for free with Laravel Breeze. And if I go over to the database again and I refresh this here, I can see that I now have one user. And in here is my one user that I just created. All right, great. There's one more thing that I like to add here, and that's the Laravel debug bar by Barry van den Oute. Um, so Barry VDH uh, slash Laravel um, debug bar. And let's actually install this as well. Composer require Barry VDH Laravel debug bar dash dash dev. Let's install that. And this is actually a tool that allows us to keep track of whatever is going on in our application. So let's refresh here. And here, down here in the bottom, we can see, um, whoops, if we expand this, we can see, let me enlarge this a bit. Uh, we can see the views that are loaded, uh, the queries that ran towards the database, uh, the models that are loaded. We can also see the total memory that's used and the duration of the requests in total. We can also see the PHP version. Um, but we will use this to debug our application while developing. All right, uh, there's only one thing that we need to do to close off this video. We need to add uh, Git to our project. So yeah, let's add Git with Git init. There we go. And as you can see, we have 23 items that are changed towards the master, but the master is an empty. Uh, Git repository at the moment. And it's actually a repository local on our machine. So let's add everything here. Um, oh, sorry, it's git add dot um, and git uh, commit dash m and let's call it uh, um, initial commit like that. 
that actually committed everything. As you can see, we are now up to date with our master, but our master is locally on our machine. Luckily, there is an option for us. I already created a Laravel, uh, sorry, a GitHub repository, and we can actually git at remote. This will actually add the remote repository in GitHub to our, to our local um, repository. If we hit that, and then we can actually change the branch, the branch, sorry, change the branch to main. And as you noticed, this was master and it's now main. And then actually we can uh, do an, a push towards the origin main. There we go. And now if I refresh this page, I see the complete project committed without the vendor, without the .env and without uh, everything that's in our git ignore, right? And the cool thing about VS Code here, I can see also that we have uh, the uh, branch uh, connected here and I can also see the git tree uh, to see all the commits that uh, are executed. All right, so that's it for the first video in this series. Uh, thanks for watching and in the next video, we're going to create our first model. So see you in the next video.